In late 1999 directional and interpretive signs were installed along the 58-kilometer length of the historic Victoria Trail, the oldest road in Alberta that is still in regular use. Begun as an Indian trail running along the banks of the North Saskatchewan River, it winds through picturesque farmland from Secondary Highway 38, southeast of Redwater, to the Victoria Settlement Provincial Historic Site in South Smoky Lake County. The Victoria Settlement Provincial Historic Site was first established in 1862 by the Reverend George McDougall as a Methodist mission. Situated on the North Saskatchewan River, McDougall initially hoped to attract the local Cree to the mission, but soon the settlement also included many English-speaking Métis. The settlement developed as a river lot community, with the same distinctive narrow parcels of land stretching back from the river as were found at the Red River Colony. In 1864 the Hudson's Bay Company opened a post at Victoria to serve the local population. The population continued to grow slowly, and by 1887 a small town site began to develop around the HBC post and McDougall's church. When a post office opened, the community was named Pawkin after a local Cree chief. Pawkin served as a steamboat and ferry landing and as a stopping place on the Victoria Trail. Although the community received a new influx of settlers after 1900 when a number of Ukrainians took up homesteads in the area, Pakhan entered a long period of decline in 1918 when the railway went through the nearby community at Smoky Lake. Catch a glimpse of an exciting period of Alberta's past through exhibits, trails, and a variety of activities provided by costumed interpreters. The trail was known by various names depending on the stretch being referred to, the Victoria Trail being used to describe that portion between Edmonton and Fort Victoria. Further east, it was known as the Fort Pitt or the Fort Carlton Trail, after the next major trading posts along the North Saskatchewan River. It was also summarily identified as the Winnipeg or Saskatchewan Trail in some early maps and documents, the larger parts of which have disappeared with time, while much of the Victoria Trail has been largely preserved. The first white man to walk on the ancient Indian paths along the Saskatchewan River was the explorer Anthony Handay in 1754-1755, then he traveled upriver with some Cree associates on a trailblazing mission for the Hudson's Bay to encourage tribes further west to come and trade at York Factory in Manitoba. Later, Peter Feidler, David Thompson, and Alexander Henry the Younger were among the other well-known fur traders who made use of the wandering track that provided a cross-country alternative to paddling against the current or seasonal ice flows of the swift-running Saskatchewan River. Métis Crossing is yet another location to explore as you drive the Victoria Trail, developed by the Métis Nation of Alberta. It includes a large campsite capable of taking any size RV. You can explore period buildings and the decor of the early Victoria Trail history. Your visit will help you understand how the Métis Nation played an enormous role in both the river and trail transportation system. When the Northwest Mounted Police made their historic trek through Palina Country to Fort Edmonton in 1874, they were able to follow sometimes with great difficulty and genuine hardship, what was essentially a crude road with an already colorful past. A few years earlier, the trail had been traversed by engineer Sanford Fleming, who was familiarizing himself with possible routes to be taken by the new Canadian National Railway to the Pacific Coast. With the growth of both Edmonton and the Victoria Settlement traffic naturally increased, especially after East Central Alberta was opened up to homesteading in the late 1880s and 1890s. With the huge influx of Ukrainians and other immigrants at the turn of the century, the Victoria Trail saw heavy and regular use that resulted in its further evolution into an important rural road. Although it fell out of favor when first railways and then paved highways came, the Victoria Trail continues to be used by local farmers as well as area residents who prefer a more leisurely and scenic trip to their destination. Now tourists, too, can enjoy its charms by taking the interpretive drive developed by the Kalina Country Eco Museum. 
Along the way you'll see a host of fascinating reminders of the past, such as the historic Victoria Park Cemetery, which was recently restored and reconsecrated on the initiative of the Victoria Home Guard Society. You will also see a monument commemorating the famous 1874 trek of the Northwest Mounted Police. To learn more about the Victoria Trail, obtained a copy of the self-guided driving tour, which is available at Fort Victoria and select outlets within Palina Country.